Hello everyone, welcome to this video where we are going to work on some of the uh, questions related to data handling. So for this very first question, a quality control officer inspect 30 cartons. That means later on, our frequency should tally up to 30. Okay? And the list below shows the number of defect vases in each carton of 10 vases okay so therefore the class is this number of defective vases in each carton so do notice that the number of defective vases ranges from 0 to 1 to 3 and to 4 and so these are the classes for the defective vases okay now we are going to start the tally now okay so I see 1 so I will start off 1 now it's 3 so 3 has 1 one another one four one two zero has two so one and two and we continue this process until we finish off four two zero Notice when we reach the count of 5 for each number, we would draw a horizontal stroke. Okay? This will make it easier to count later on. The last two number and so five plus three is eight for zero. This is ten, this is five, four, and three. And when I add eight plus ten plus five plus four plus three, I do get back my thirty. So this will be for part A answer. Let's move on to part B. And for part B, we are supposed to find the ratio of the number of cartons that have 1 to that of 2. So 1 is 10, 2 is 5. So it's simply, the answer would then be, the required ratio would be 10 is to 5. So the ratio is equal to... 10 is to 5 and this is not the simplest form so divide by 5 I will get 2 is to 1 alright let's move on to the next question mm -hmm. 
Hello everyone, welcome to this question where we are given a pictogram and we got a title which represents the number of goals scored by these four teams and each ball represents four goals just by one look which team scored the most number of goals yep pretty straightforward that's where the beauty is so in this case here is united and what is the ratio of the number of goals scored by CT? CT is 4 goals 4, 8, 12, 16 16 plus half a ball, half a ball is 2 So it's 18 And the goals scored by Rovers would be 8, 4, 4 is 8, 8 plus 3, 11. So therefore, the ratio is pretty straightforward. 18 is 2, 11. And we are done. As for the assumptions, we do need to indicate that since and let me just create some space here since each ball represents four goals then i assume that each quarter of the ball represents one goal all right yep let's move on to the next question okay the pie chart below shows the favorite subjects of the 180 students which subject do most students like okay this is pretty straightforward we go straight for the highest percentage yeah or the biggest sector so this one would have to be the science science is here Yep, the yellow color. Thirty-five. Okay, so let's just write it down. Science. Find the angle of the sector representing the science. Okay, come let's see. So for part B, let's do some calculation. We know that one full circle is 360 degrees, yeah? That means 100% represents 360 degrees, right? And for signs, we are actually looking at 35%. So 35% would then mean I will have my 360 degree divided by 100. That will give me 1%. Then I multiply by 35. And this will give me a value of 126 degrees. And for part C, find the number of students whose favorite subject is English. Oh, English is here. 25% total is 180. So therefore, the number of students whose favorite subject is English is 25% of 
180 and that will give me 45 all right let's move on to the next question hello everyone welcome to this question where we are given a line graph for the mass of a baby given in kg in the first 12 months whoa the first question indicates at birth what is the mass means right at the start here when it's at birth you could actually see that it is at the fourth square here so at this point right if you're not very good you can actually see that five small squares represents 2 kg so one small square will be 2 divided by 5 which is equals to 0 0.4 kg okay so we will have 2.4 2.8 3.2 3 3.6 and that's how Mr. Tan here will get the answer 3.6 kg. For part B, how many months after birth did the baby mass exceed 8 kg? So in this case here, 8 kg will be here. So we will then have to look at the graph. It occur at the halfway mark here again if we look at the number of squares here is also five small square and it's representing two months so if one small square will therefore be represented by 2 over 5 which is equals to 0 0.4 months so I will have 6.4 here and if it is half a square 6.6 alright so we would have gotten our answer as 6.6 .6 months and then what would be our assumptions to get this answer? The assumption is that actually you notice that there is a straight line, right? Here. So actually we are actually assuming something, you know. We are actually assuming that the assumption is that the baby the rate of increase in mass for this baby between the 6 and the 8 man which is represented by the straight line is constant okay which actually in reality is not lah huh? sometimes you gain weight sometimes you lose weight but we don't always gain weight at the same consistency you know every day we increase by how many by the same amount in mass every single day we don't okay so that is the assumption and now for c part one find the average rate of increase during the first two months so first two months will be here number two so where we will then get this is my number two we will get 4.4 4.8 and 
then we do though this is not 4.8 though because this graph for the first two months it increases from 3.6 to 4.8 so we must first find the increase okay and therefore in the working for c part one we will see that mr tan try to find the increase first which is 4.8 minus my mass at birth 3.6 this gives me 1.2 kg and therefore the average will then be 1.2 there are 2 months 0 0.6 kg per month find the average between the 10 and the 12 Okay, so C part 2, again, we need to find the increase, now it's from 10 to 12, so we do have to, it's this particular point here, so again, we are going to the graph, and we will get 9.6 here, and 10 and therefore i will then be able to get 10 minus 9.6 and the increase is 0 0.4 kg and therefore the average between the 10 and the 12 months will be 0 0.4 divided by 2 2 months only 0 0.2 kg per month and the first year for the first year then we do need to look at the increase the baby actually increased from 3.6 at birth and at the end of the first year reaches 10 and therefore for C part 3 the increase in the mass is from 10 all the way and at birth is actually 3.6 so the increase here will be 6.4 kg and finally the average 6.4 divided by 12 months to give me 0 0.53333 and 5SF first followed by 0 0.533 kg per month and with that we have come to the end of this particular question so at any point if you like this video do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel hello everyone welcome to this video or this question where we are given a bar graph that has both male and female students inside as well as the total number so a uh, for part a our focus is on the art club and the female students as a percentage of the total number students in the art club so if i zoom in then i will be able to see that there is 16 students for the female and the total number is 34 and so with this I will then be able to get my answer for part A where they require us to express as a percentage so the required percentage is therefore equals to 
16 out of the 34 students and I do need to multiply by 100 to convert it to a percentage and that will be equals to 47.0588 this is to 6SF 6 significant figures followed by 3 significant figure Now for part B, our focus then goes to the drama club and they will want to find the ratio of the female students to the male. So for the drama club, come let me go into zoom in to the drama. There is 22 drama students from here and the total is 40 and from here right we could then get the number for the male students which will be 18 40 minus 22 is 18 okay and therefore we will be able to get the ratio pretty quickly which is what they want they want for part b then the required ratio will be equals to the female 22 is to male 18 and do leave your answer in simplest form I'm, I am going to divide by 2 on both ratio to get me 11 is to 9 and the last part C draw 2 conclusion based on the bar graph so let's go over to the bar graph and see what conclusion we could actually see um, from here we see that drama actually has the highest number of students which is 40 as compared with art and science uh, that's the first conclusion okay and for the science, you can see it's 20, total number is 26. Then if I compare the others, example, if I put out all the values up, then I would then be able to see the number of males and females proportion in each club. <coughs> So for the art, I will have 18, you can see that there is an equal number of male students in all the class, but one thing stood out in this bar graph, you see, is that proportionally uh, for the science club there's way more male students as compared to the female students as indicated here in this bar graph so that is the second conclusion that we could actually draw so for part c right part c i'm going to write it below so for part c we could actually see that most students uh, join the drama club as indicated by the total highest total number of students the second one would then be in the science club there is a higher number of male students than female students all right and we have come to the end of this particular question so if you like this video do give it a thumbs up thank you for watching and have a nice day